Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am reviewing the Murad Retinal Youth Renewal Serum, which looks like this. Before we begin with today's video, I'd love to welcome everyone who has recently subscribed to my channel. Welcome. My name is Nadia and I'm a licensed esthetician who loves to test and review skincare products. Feel free to add me on all of my other social media platforms. I will link those down below for you. Also, be sure to subscribe to my channel if you have yet to subscribe to my channel and make sure that you hit that notification bell so that you are notified whenever there is a brand new upload. This is a lightweight retinol-based serum full of good antioxidants, skin replenishing ingredients that target fine lines, wrinkles, dull skin, uneven texture, and the loss of firmness and elasticity. You can find Murad's Retinol Youth Renewal Serum at Sephora, Murad.com, Ulta Beauty, Derm Store, and Macy's, just to name a few. The serum does retail for $89, and you do get one ounce. You should know that Murad's Retinol Youth Renewal Serum contains silicones. I don't dock points here uh, for silicones on my channel, but I do know that this may be a deal breaker for some users. We do see shea butter, retinol, ceramide, NP, hyaluronic acid, and squalane, just to name a few ingredients. Retinol, as we know, is a dynamic ingredient in skincare as it is an antioxidant that minimizes the signs of aging, it targets fine lines, wrinkles, it firms. When purchasing a retinol-based skincare product, it is important that we analyze its packaging. Anything that is not in airtight packaging is not worth your hard-earned dollars. Murad always has standout packaging, and this one definitely does not disappoint. We do see Murad's retinol triactive technology where we see a fast-acting retinoid, a time-release retinoid, and a retinol booster that amplifies retinol's ability to increase cell turnover when paired with retinol. We see sodium hyaluronate and squalane within this formula. Sodium hyaluronate is the salt form of hyaluronic acid which is considered to be more effective than pure hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid, as we all know, increases our skin's moisture content. It's a calming, soothing ingredient that holds 1,000 times its weight in water. Squalane is a skin replenishing ingredient with antioxidant properties. I have used one full-size unit of this serum and a ton of minis when this initially launched, but I never really took notes on the product. I can almost always notice or see a difference in my skin when I'm testing or using a product, but it's only when I take notes that I actually notice and appreciate the formula and the product itself. It's so weird how that works. I didn't pay much attention to this product before, but it has definitely changed since I started taking notes on um, October 21st. So the first night of the test, which was October 21st, I got a pump happy and I used three full pumps. Not sure why, I'm, I'm really not sure why, but it did apply very, very nicely um, since I had just come off a test of the uh, Summer Friday Soft Reset. Um, I did feel a slight tingle, which is very rare, uh, at least for me when I'm using a retinol-based product. I made sure to follow it with a uh, Good Molecules um, Niacinamide Serum to minimize flakiness, redness, and sensitivity. And the next day I did notice, you know, smaller pores, glowy skin. Um, I also noticed some tightness uh, along the skin throughout the day. Um, but you should know as well that temperatures in LA have uh, gradually been changing. They have been dipping. So, you know, do know that that could also be a reason why my skin was so tight during the test of this product. Uh, when the season changes from like fall to kind of winter, my skin always uh, does this. On November 3rd, I did... 
November 3rd, huh? On November 3rd, I noted uh, the need for a hydrating routine in between the retinol and the soft reset test. When I paired this serum with uh, Murad's Retinol Youth Renewal uh, Night Cream, um, I did notice uh, smoother and plumper skin the following day. And on um, November 5th, I did notice uh, minimal post-inflammation hyperpigmentation a lot more than I did with uh, the Inky Lists retinol serum. I have used a number of retinol based products before. I've used Peter Thomas Roth's Gren Active Retinoid Serum, Drunk Elephant's Retinol Cream, and most recently as you have seen the Inky Lists Retinol Serum. As far as strength, this is not a starter retinol serum, but it is definitely one of the strongest I've tried. Because I'm in my mid 30s, I definitely have to continue using uh, retinol, and this is definitely one I do see myself using uh, year round. Overall, results from using Murad's Retinol Youth Renewal Serum have been smaller pores, smoother texture, and brighter skin. If your cell turnover has slowed, this will definitely help to speed it up. For a long while, um, I have been dealing with post-inflammation hyperpigmentation, especially here along the lips, the cheekbones with these breakouts, and the chin, of course. So this has definitely helped to even that a lot faster than, say, if I were to uh, continue using uh, a glycolic acid-based serum. This definitely plays very well with other products. Because this is a uh, retinol-based product, I did not use this during the day. And because of the seasonal change, I was able to test this with a lot of other products. Um, I definitely used a lot of different moisturizers with um, Murad's Retinol Youth Renewal Serum, such as Drunk Elephant's Proteini, Murad's Retinol Youth Renewal uh, Moisturizer, and um, H2O's uh, Overnight newest product, their overnight mask, which is a delight, you should know. On nights where my skin felt uh, really uh, dry and tight, I made sure to add a Drunk Elephant's uh, Marula oil, and the serum still performed very, very well. Uh, no pilling, no filmy layer over top the skin when I woke up the next day. So whatever you apply or throw on top of the serum, I think that it will perform well, or I know, based on, on everything that I threw on top of it, it will perform very well. I have uh, many favorite ways to use this serum. Definitely with Drunk Elephant's Proteini Polypeptide Cream, when my skin definitely just doesn't feel too dry and it just needs a moisturizer. And then with the Murad Retinol Youth Renewal Cream, I definitely use that when I want it to further target fine lines, wrinkles, and dullness. When I pair Retinol Youth Renewal Serum with the uh, Murad Retinol Youth Renewal Cream or Moisturizer, I definitely, definitely make sure to apply at least four to five drops of Drunk Elephant's uh, Virgin Marula Oil to seal everything in, give the skin some added moisture, and pack additional antioxidants over top. I also enjoy using it with H2O's overnight mask when I need moisture, but I don't want to apply an oil on the skin. So I have a lot of different moods, if you haven't noticed. I would recommend this product to anyone who has already used a beginner retinol, such as the Inky Lists Retinol Serum, and is ready for the next step. I would say that this is definitely more of like a mid-range retinol-based serum. It's never too early, and it's never too late to add a retinol-based serum to your skincare routine. If you've got acne as well, if you're in your 20s, you can definitely benefit from adding a retinol-based serum to your routine to help even tone um, and to help minimize breakouts. If you're in your 30s and you're starting to see the signs of aging, add to cart. If you're new to retinol, trust the brand and want to pick this up, I'd definitely start uh, by using this one night on 
two nights off, one night on, two nights off. And gradually build your tolerance. And soon enough, you may see yourself using this nightly if that is your jam. You may also want to pair this with a, a niacinamide-based serum if you're new to the to retinol, uh, just to minimize the signs of irritation, minimize any flakiness or excessive dryness to the skin while at the same time minimizing your pore size. Pros, I do have a few. Um, I do love that this is an airtight uh, container. One to two pumps is enough. Uh, don't go uh, pump happy and do three like I did the first night. I love that this did not irritate my skin. It is definitely results driven and Mira does not test on animals. I also love that this does not contain any drying alcohols. I also have a few cons, however. Um, this may be a bit drying, especially if you're new to retinol. Uh, this does contain fragrance. This does contain silicones, although not a deal breaker for me. And this does contain two sensitizing ingredients. I am rating Mirage Retinol Youth Renewal Serum an 8.5 out of 10. I am deducting a point for the fragrance and point five for the two poor ingredients. I love Mirad, the philosophy and the products but I have to deduct points for those reasons. I know a number of you do not mind fragrance in your products and I understand why it can be a, you know, deal breaker for some. So that's why I try to, you know, include that in my rating. The scent here is seems almost botanical. Don't don't you dare think that this smells like, you know, a Dior fragrance. Not at all. It's a very natural botanical type of, of scent. And that is exactly what the rest of the range smells like. If you smell this, the moisturizer smells just like that. And the eye serum, which I love, smells just like that as well. Um, this serum, I would say, would work well on all skin types. But as with um, any other skincare product, do make sure to listen to your skin when you are uh, diving deep into a new skincare product. With any retinol, I'd, I'd always say, take it easy and build your tolerance. So that is all I have for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what your favorite retinol-based product is in the comments down below. I'd really love to know. Thank you all so much for spending some time with me today, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.